Hello Capricorn, this is your July forecast. It also applies if you're Capricorn rising or a Capricorn moon. So we've got a very busy month this month with two full moons this month rather than the usual one. And also we've got Saturn still retrograde um, until September the 18th. And this is happening for you Capricorn right up here in your 11th house. And um, when a planet goes retrograde into a house, it's kind of just doing a recheck, a reassessment. So it's asking you Capricorns, what are your goals? What are your dreams? What are your wishes? Are you sure some of them are not obsolete? Have some of them changed now? And also your friendships. Many of you will have gone through a lot of changes and possibly endings in your friendships over this last two to three years. And now you may be looking around in some ways feeling, some of you may be a little lonely in a way. Sometimes Saturn can make you feel a little isolated. But at the same time, it gives you an opportunity to create new friends that are more on your wavelength. So again, it's about just this reassessing of your dreams, what it is that you want, and especially what you're wanting in your friendships and your social circle. It could also bring you an extra responsibility. Maybe if you are involved in a club or an association, you may take on president role or some kind of a role with more responsibility or maybe take uh, charge of a team of people. Now on the very first or second of the month, depending where in the world you live, we've got a full moon happening in your sign, Capricorn. So right here, resonating along with Pluto. So whenever a full moon happens in your sign, it's shining a light on you, how you present yourself, how you want to be seen. Um, it's, it's an opportunity for you maybe to look at the things that um, you've not wanted to deal with, but also a great time for a makeover, for doing something different with the way you present yourself, maybe in business, in your work, maybe changing your website, changing your videos, but it's shining a light on how you want others to see you. And also on the seventh of the month, we've got an exact opposition between Pluto and the sun happening. So again, it's about how you take your power in relationships. Are you being strong? Are you sticking up for your needs and what is important to you? But something may be revealed at the time of this full moon about you, about yourself, that is new, that is different. So that could be very exciting. Now for the first week of the month, the nice news is that Jupiter and Venus are coming together in your eighth house, Capricorns. And so this energy of the two benefic planets coming together can bring you some good fortune financially. It could be some good news about an inheritance or some money from somebody else. Could be a gift, could be a grant, could be a scholarship, could be something that you win. Um, but this is just some good news potentially happening for you financially during the first week of the month. Now on the 9th of July we've got Mercury moving into your 7th house and there's a lot happening uh, Capricorns in this 7th house of relationships for you this month. Um, Mars is going to be in that 7th house all month so Mars, when, wherever Mars transits in your chart is it showing where you're going to want to put some energy? But also wherever Mars is, it's where you need to assert yourself. Mars and Mercury coming together, I must say, can sometimes mean that you may just speak out and say it as it is. And often Capricorn's boy, you do do that sometimes, especially when pushed. But this is going to be a big focus this month on your relationships, the sun is shining a light on them. We've got this full moon at the beginning of the month. On the 15th or 16th of the month, we've got a lovely new moon happening in the house of relationship, giving you an opportunity for some new beginnings, a breath of fresh air to come into your existing relationships or a new relationship to come in. 
So there's a lot of energy in this area and also there's energy in yourself and you and your needs and also not allowing yourself to be a victim but to really assert what is necessary to you. In the middle of the month there could well be a showdown of really playing your cards, showing your cards on the table, maybe something that's been hidden or suppressed or you've put up with or tolerated for in a long time in a relationship and finally it just has to come out and the truth needs to be told. But that being said, there could be an opportunity for a wonderful new beginning in your relationships. Now, the 13th to the 15th of July, of July we've got a square happening between um, Saturn and Venus. So, I'm going to suggest that for those couple of days, you may feel somewhat limited in the amount of things you can do. Yes, you may be saying to yourself, oh, I've got responsibilities, I need to look after a friend, there's somebody who needs taken care of, and at the same time, I want to have fun and I want to enjoy myself. So I'm going to suggest that you choose at least one thing that you enjoy and make sure you do it uh, during those days. Now, on the 19th of July, we've got Venus moving into your ninth house. Venus in the ninth is a wonderful time for travel, taking a trip to somewhere that you'd enjoy being. It's also great for meeting somebody from overseas, could be a romance, could be traveling with your love overseas. It's also a great time for learning something new, it's good for publishing, and there could be some news about a court case, something legal where there's some help or maybe a good attorney or somebody giving you some good advice to help you along with that situation. Now on the 23rd of July, we've got the sun moving into your eighth house. And on the 24th, Mercury goes into this eighth house. So we're getting a lot of focus here in this eighth house for you, um, Capricorns, which is a wonderful time to reassess money generally, but also where your money's going. So is it safe in the banks? I mean, obviously that's very questionable given our whole global economy, but maybe you need to make some changes about any investments you've got or any loans that you've got. Maybe it's time for consolidation or for changing providers. Really important to really keep your eye on the ball with everything connected to your finances, to your security. It's also an opportunity for going deeper into a relationship, for getting more intimate, for allowing yourself to really be seen and be more vulnerable. Mercury in the eighth is a wonderful time for anything to do with astrology, the esoteric, metaphysical, anything in this whole spiritual area. You may want to go into it more deeply than ever before. And on the 31st of July, the very last day of the month, we've got another full moon happening. And this full moon for you, Capricorn, happening in your second house of money. Again, activating everything connected with shining a light on how you're earning a living, um, how you're spending your money, and also um, what's important to you. What are your values? So, are you living according to what is most important to you? So, for example, if you need to focus on finding a career that you love, or maybe making more money from your career, what creative ideas can you come up with in order to push that career, push those things, those gifts that you have, so that you can do something that you really enjoy with your life and make a nice income from it. So all in all there's going to be a big focus on relationships and you and finances and you and a reassessment of your dreams, your goals, your wishes and what you want in your social circle not only around you but the wider circle of friends that you have possibly on the internet and groups that you've joined. There you have it Capricorns, if you'd like to come for a personal reading with me, have you look at your personal chart, what it holds in store for you this next year or so, I'd be delighted to hear from you. 
Thank you for listening. Bye for now.